Hi beautiful collective. Welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you're doing fabulous. Thank you so much guys for your generosity. Thank you so much for your contributions, likes, subscriptions. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining me here and welcome back everybody who has been so awesome at supporting this channel i thank you guys so much oh it's time to relax and focus on on the positive work through your feelings and release control finding a balance back in your life and it's time to like be open to change step up and lead stepping into your power believe in your good luck okay someone's angry that you have taken your power back and they're angry that you're stepping up and leading Finding balance, relaxing, enjoying your life, romantic love. Awareness, authenticity, and sensitivity. Throat chakra, communication, hmm. divine masculine is feeling very sensitive of this time. Seeing you transform. This is a soul union. They're aware. They're very aware that, um, hmm. You're not putting them as a priority anymore. And you're letting go of the guilt. Obstacles and blocks are being lifted. You've got an abundance mindset unlimited ideas and it's putting someone else in their feels They're angry because you're happy, because you're healing, because you've got this joy, this abundance mindset. They're feeling defensive. They're feeling angry and resentful because your life is in balance and theirs is not.
They're depressed. They're sad. They're in their feels, feeling the pain of you walking away. They're not over you. They're in their feels, in their emotions. They are spying on you. And they're seeing you secure and they're seeing you balanced, seeing you seem happy, you seem healed, you seem like you got your life together here. And they're envious and they're resentful about it. They're feeling very sensitive because their life is out of balance. And they're actually in some kind of mental imprisonment that they put themselves in. That's how they think about it. That's transparency. That is a success, a victory. Stressed out with his other lover. It's like they put themselves in a mental torture chamber here. It's like nightmares being haunted. There's depression. There is guilt. There is sadness. There is, they're in their feels. for their choice, their decisions. They may come across as very, you know, presenting themselves as everything is good, everything is stable, but they're not. They're bored, they're discontent, they're fighting, they're arguing. It's like, and they look at you and they see you stable, they see you you're like comfort to this person. They miss how you made them feel. They miss you know that comfortability, that security. You made this person feel secure. You made this person feel like their life was in balance. You brought joy to their life and stability to their life. You made them feel good about themselves. And they see you getting blessed. And they feel like they've turned their back on their blessings. They're thinking that you've moved on. And it is safe for you to receive. <laughs> You're deserving of this happiness and they feel like a fool. They were thinking, you know, they were gonna do better, but that was a lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think this person made have like like when they're alone when they're by themselves they reflect and they think to themselves I not only betrayed my lover but my best friend I person tries to avoid their emotions they try to avoid how they truly feel this person does want to talk to you they miss your friendship they miss maybe they miss you know you were like family to them home to them Maybe they miss your cooking, home cooked meals, the comforts of home. Yeah, they do. You were close to this person. You shared some sort of, it wasn't just like romance it was romance it was sensitivity intimacy friendship <clears throat> you made this person feel strong like you made them feel confident reminiscent the things you used to talk about, your talks, like, they miss it. They hold on to those thoughts. They hold on to those memories. They could even be holding on to your messages. Pictures. And they overwhelms them. Emotions. Overwhelming emotions. Which is why they try really hard to focus in on their work. To ease their pain. And this karmic also talks about you and it overwhelms they get overwhelmed with emotions this karmic talks about you and they get overwhelmed with emotions it's almost as if No. They're jealous of you. And there's a lot of mind games here that the karmic plays on them. Um provokes them somehow with uh manipulation. There's mind games here.
Someone's a hothead here. This person still has fantasies about you. They could, like I said, they could be self-medicating. And while they sleep, they think about you. While they sleep. They can't stop. It's like they've had no balance in their life. You brought this person balance in their life. They felt balanced. They know they did you wrong. They know they did. On one hand, they're proud of you and they respect you. And on the other hand, they're angry, they're bitter, they're resentful. But the biggest reason why they're resentful is because they're stuck where they're at. And all they can do is like, this person, when they dream, when they sleep, they think of you. They may even call out your name while they sleep. They may have dreams about you, um, fantasies about you. They're proud of you for setting up boundaries. They are, because they know they crossed the line. At the same time, they're saving face. They're trying to look upright to everyone else. They're trying to look, protect their reputation. They're putting on an act. They're putting on a show. They're like living in a world of pretend. Because their subconscious mind is telling them something different than what their conscious mind is telling them. Their subconscious knows where the home is. Their subconscious knows where... You did nothing to this person, okay? And they got to live with that. They got to live with that. And it bothers their conscience when they sleep, when they're alone. They think about you, how they did you, how they treated you. Uh, quite honestly, you were not deserving of this treatment, but they're putting on a facade. They're putting on an act. They're stuck.
they feel the cold. Don't think that they don't. They're heavily burdened. You might think this person does not have a conscience because of their actions, but they do, particularly when they're alone and when they sleep. And they are jealous. They are. You're not talking to them. You're not reacting to them. You're not doing anything but focusing in on your own life. And that bothers them. They start to like internalize about that. They think about it a lot. They drink about it a lot. Because you did absolutely nothing to this person. You've got this bountiful nature like... You did nothing to this person. And I think it's making them a little crazy. They're not getting a reaction from you. You're not talking to them. You're just moving on. There's nothing they don't miss about you, but they'll never admit that. At least not anytime soon. Take care.